What's up? I'm Margo. I'm back today in Helsinki for another awesome day. I am here with Yanni Tolan, the amazing urban artist, and we're going to the gallery today, but Yanni told me not to wear heels. So, Yanni, why? Why couldn't I wear my heels today? Uh, you'll, you'll see in a second. I mean, it's a, it's a gallery, all right. Uh -huh. It's called uh, Pasilan Galleria, the gallery of Pasila, but it's, it's actually an abandoned train tunnel. We're here at the Pasila Gallery, um, the second Graffiti Hall of Fame in Helsinki. And uh, the activity started here sometime in 1986. And by 87, lots of kids were coming down here and getting their first contact to graffiti. How did you start? What made you want to do graffiti art? Well, I, I grew up right next to the first Graffiti Hall of Fame in, in Finland, where the activity started in 1984 when I was like nine years old yeah. so I was just lucky to have that happening right in my neighborhood that that was pretty much it like around that time there wasn't that much information or you know any inspiration to draw from yeah. like because you know it was the 80s there was no internet there was you know none of that last year uh, the construction started here and 30 year run of, of culture was was going to come to an end so a lot of people kind of like act, got very active again and wanted to come get um, their tags in <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know pay their last homage and so forth it's yeah it's sad but I mean your work is beautiful like this is super cool I was not expecting this when you said not heels I thought you just meant we'd be in like a gallery walking up and down for hours but this is even better than I expected thank you I mean, Helsinki, I like to call it the biggest village in the world. Okay. Because <laughs> like any, anything bigger than this is not a village. So you, you know you know the whole six degrees thing? Yeah. Over here, people probably know everybody through two people. <laughs> oh, so two degrees of separation. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> it's a cool thing, but it, it's also not so cool thing. You know, it has yeah. both sides to it, but, but I mean, it's still a unique combination of things. Like, because we, st we still have a lot of lovely un underground culture. So we have a lot of, lot of things going on, regardless of being a tiny, tiny village. This baby here is a remake of an old 1991 classic that I made here when I was 16. Last year, when, when the news broke that, that the tunnel is going to be gone sometime soon, I felt like I had to come back and redo it. Back in the day, it used to stay here for quite a long time and it became a bit of a landmark yeah. for like graffiti in this area and everybody who rides the train. Oh, they can so, see it. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I did this, a lot of people contacted me. I was like, yo, when I was growing up, like I used to see that piece every day from, from the train and, and like it's so cool that you, you redid it now. Because, yeah. you know, it's like brings back childhood memories and whatnot. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. It's awesome. All of the pieces are so cool. So what are the rules if you can't find something? It's disrespectful to paint over someone else's work, yeah? Well, generally, if, if you're doing big pieces, you, the rule is that you should do bigger and better whenever you're going over somebody. Okay. I think we're done here. So I will see you next time. Bye.